one thing that I've really been paying close attention to because I've never been political in my entire life. Like it's just like I, I, I politics are very important. Yes. Yeah. But I've never been like, Oh, this is one side or the other because the one side or the other argument is extremely divisive. And the whole point of bipartisanship was to create two parties that can like help each other see their blind spots. Yeah. And I'm not in the mood, like if you post this and you get comments about what I just said, I'm not in the mood to argue about it because there I'm you know, I'm not posing an argument. I'm literally just making a statement. Like, what's the point of a good partnership? What's the point of a good marriage what's the point of anything where it requires camaraderie where one side sees something a little bit different than the other side it's to cover the blind spots yeah. it's not to say as soon as we start saying oh look at that republican or oh look at that democrat and look what they said and look what they did we're pitting ourselves against one another and we're falling back into a lesser more primal mindset and we're falling back into like what happened in the civil war like this side needs to believe what we believe therefore and there are so many reasons why 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 but nobody's interested in understanding and as long as nobody's listening to what anyone else has to say that goes against their own ideology they're creating this narrative of unification and that's different than unity unification is what hitler tried to achieve in germany in the second world war unity is where you celebrate every different part of the body and you say they they're they're a little bit different than me and i i don't support their unhealthy habits but i honor them as a person and i honor their culture and i honor mm -hmm. their heritage and i honor their skills and their gifts and as long as i'm honoring that and i'm loving that person we can deal with this side that i don't like yeah. we can get rid of that over time because hatred can't exist where love does but we're confusing unification for unity and unity for unification, like the vice versa. And we're saying, we want, we want all one, we want all one. And that's, that's, that's never how it exists. Like imagine if we were just, our body was like a single eyeball. We can't say, oh, I just like my eyes. I want every part of me to be an eye. No, <laughs> I need my nose so I can smell. I appreciate my nose so I can, I can smell things that I'm not able to see with. Yeah. And I can hear things that I'm not able to smell with. And I can taste things that I can't see with. Stuff like that. It's, it's so much more simple, but everything is overcomplicated. And as long as it's a narrative that we agree with psychologically, we stay stuck in that for as long as the cycle mm. repeats until we start coming to our own demise. I feel like that's, again, going back to the media like even just news networks, CNN, Fox, whatever, uh, they've also, like I was talking about the newspapers, seems like they also just act as another social media. They're just trying to get a reaction out of you. Yeah. They're just trying to get your attention. It's all to get ad revenue, commercials, they get paid for that shit. Fear it's sells, literally their bro. business platform. Fear sells. Yeah, so I don't know, man. We're tackling some tough topics here, but I feel like people just need to be fucking aware. Not saying that I'm super fucking aware. Yeah. Obviously, I get duped or whatever. I'm I'm not super one way or the other. Uh, um, I'd be more topic to topic, but yeah, we don't need to get into a ton of politics. But I think people just need to be aware. Like, it's it sounds super cliche because everyone's saying it, but do your own fucking research. Like, look into something or listen to somebody. Yeah, they literally go, might teach you. They I'd, literally might teach you something. I'd go a step above and say, like, embrace somebody who doesn't believe what you believe in. Yeah, and it's okay. And yeah, and it's <laughs> literally okay. Like yeah. you know, you don't have to like go Mortal Kombat on them by the end yeah. of the day and say like one of us cannot exist in this world yeah. by the end of the twenty four hours. Like actually understand them and don't try to, bro. So many people are trying to always prove their point. Nobody cares. Really, yeah. nobody cares because until you're willing to listen nobody's hearing what's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Not a single person. I feel like I'm getting that as, or I'm understanding that as well as I get older. Even yeah. with myself. Okay, listen better. Yeah. You hear someone say something and you think of something to respond before they're even done talking. Yeah. And you don't hear like what the last half, 75% what they said. Yeah. You heard the first part. I'm going to say this. Okay, wait, are you done? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to say this. <laughs> like people don't listen to each other. Exactly. Um, and I, you know, that's, that includes me too. Um, but fuck. Yeah, man. Um, 
there's a there's a there's a proverb that I like to go go back to all the time. That was a good rant, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> there's a proverb that I like to go back to, tying this back into uh, to uh, where I was at before I came to LA. Yeah. There's a proverb that I like to circle back to just like think about is like as a man believes in his heart so is he and that just goes to show like what's happening in our world and what's always happened in our world people are willing some people are willing to die over what they believe in other people aren't yeah people don't remember the people who aren't willing to die over what they believed in and sometimes people die believing for the wrong thing i don't know what to tell you tough luck like happens i'm like i you know like i'm not I'm not omniscient, so I can't speak on that. Yeah. But like, it's better to die believing in something that you're that you are that you care about, as long as you're doing so, not exercising hatred on other people. Mm. Because as soon as you die believing, you die for what you believe in, because you're exercising hatred. You're be- you. That's how you kind of recognize. Oh, I might be believing in the wrong thing. I might be. I'm not saying 100%, but like it's possible. And if you're willing to sacrifice for what you believe in, then you know you have something sustainable there and you have something that's more foundational there. When you're trying to attack other people and and pit others and yourself against that person or that group, you're just... You're no different than anyone else who's discriminated over the course of history. Yeah. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it being educated. You can call it being aware. You can call it being smart. It's no different. We're missing the point. 